Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, LDAP integration with uh, GitLab, GitLab server. So basically LDAP, uh, how to install LDAP and uh, how to create users groups, uh, we have discussed in the previous video and uh, we have discussed already how to install the GitLab server on the Ubuntu VM. So now that uh, whatever the users we created so that we need to integrate with the GitLab server. So that integration part we will see. So firstly, uh, you need to go to the GitLab server. So I already connected GitLab server. So we have, if you need any configuration you wanted to enable on the GitLab server, you need to open the gitlab.rb file. Okay. So if you open GitLab server, dot rb file so there is a ldap configurations so just now i have enabled these configurations so you just need to go here by default all these are uh, commented so based on your uh, server ldap and uh, username password you just need to provide in the gitlab.rb file when it comes to that uh, gitlab.rails so you firstly it should be false you just make it true the true and uh, this one is commented ldap sign in so you just need to make it false and uh, you just need to provide uh, the label is ldap and this one also you need to uncomment each line it should be commented uh, when you install the first time so whatever are required so you just need to enable those things host name you just need to provide the host ip of uh, your ldap server my host IP of LDAP server is this one. So I just enable this and port is 389. That is the LDAP server and UID. I'm just provide the UID and uh, blind DN. So you just need to provide the root one. So if you don't know that you just need to go here and uh, take this DN domain name, DC Linux and DC.com. So you just need to provide and password of your LDAP server and encryption it should be plain and the base should be Linux and uh, the same username okay these are the changes and once this is done you just need to end of the file okay you have to save these changes I didn't make any modification so once that changes are done, you just need to restart the GitLab, reconfigure the GitLab. So this is the command. If you make any modification, you just need to reconfigure the GitLab. So once this is done, you need to enable the ports. Okay. Uh, firstly, you will get a connectivity issue. So in the GitLab, you need to add the LDAP port in the security groups. So I already added the LDAP security group port. In the inbound rule. So LDAP I just added the port 389 to the internet. The same way you just need to open outbound rules and check all the traffic is enabled or not. Okay, That is the one thing you need to do. If everything configured successfully, okay, GitLab configured successfully. Now, you just need to go here and uh, whatever the users are there in the GitLab, suppose these are the users. I just need to log into the these users. Instead of uh, when you install the GitLab, first time you just need to log in with the root and the password, right? So now integration with LDAP. So I just use it to R shaker. This is the user and password of the shaker one. See now I able to log in with uh, shaker uh, LDAP user. So like this we are able to see the integration. So now if you want to log out, sign out of this one. If you need to create any new user, let me create a uh, new user. BC Kundan and uh, if you set the password for this user 
you just need to you just need to add any of the group you can add that group and uh, set the password for that one password password okay and uh, save the changes now if you go to this one and the uh, group id um, kundan yeah b kundan this is the group id and this is the uid of that user so let me try to log in with b kundan password of that user so i able to log in successfully so if you go here and uh, you can able to see the projects or uh, if you want to set any configurations here you just need to able to upload the configurations and um, projects please complete the profile and email address so we just need to set this uh, details so that uh, we can able to update the changes so email id you just need to give any email id some dummy email currently i didn't uh, enable that email server configuration so we will see that in the next video and uh, there is one more request is failed state test code 500 yeah this profile complete profile configuration we have to do uh, which group and all so that um, we can able to get the success response currently the integration part uh, we have seen in this video okay so you can log in with any user suppose be to share uh, if you want to log in you can able to log in yeah see now i able to log in with uh, tushar that's all about in this session so how to integrate ldap with gitlab server in the previous videos uh, we have seen how to integrate ldap with jenkins if you like the video please share and subscribe thanks for watching bye